All right, here we go. So we're gonna do a Q&A from Instagram. This is Jeff Nichols. He is a strength coach and uh, works in the tactical field, former Navy SEAL. We're gonna answer questions according to what you said and what your calls brought to the table. Let's do it. I'll keep it short and sweet. We will try to be concise. And we'll plow. <laughs> All right, question from Jason Pegg. Why get out of the teams? I think that's for you. That probably is, yeah. Because I just did track and field, so I was out of teams like after high school. Well, okay, so why? I have a little boy. He's not so little anymore. He's got some big old feet. The, 10 years of sustained combat. Didn't see my family a whole lot. Kind of felt like I needed to hand the torch off to some younger guys. Kind of beat up. Uh, not so much anymore. I uh, learned out of necessity I need to take better care of myself and uh, here we are so pretty unsexy question but spend more time with my family there you go kind of just move on like any job said so this isn't what you need to do anymore yeah like believe it or not most of us uh, it, 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 it's just a job yeah it really was I mean in its own right I suppose the argument can say it's a, you know the importance of it and those sort of things that's not um, not terribly disagreeable, but I also say that at the end of the day, it's a job that we uh, that we have and I had and moving on. Well, there you go, there's one question. Number two, Buck Savage Fit. I hate Matt Vincent. What movie was he in or did he write a book? Simplify, serious respect for the sailors. Huh, uh, is that one for me? I'm guessing what movie were you in? I was not. I'm not. I'm in. There's two camps. There's well, maybe there's three camps. One camp is thinks it's okay to do that. The other camp is kind of agnostic, if you will. And the other camp is uh, not okay with that. I am in the camp that. I'm, well, I'm kind of straddling the fence. I'm pretty agnostic about what other people do because I can't control that. But as far as me personally, uh, the closest thing to any sort of entertainment that I'm going to get, as far as books and movies, would be. Maybe starring in a Disney movie? I think, yeah. Having nothing to do with the military? I like that. You know, like a muscle-bound Mickey Mouse or some shit, but... Uh, I don't think those are live action anymore. No. Yeah, claymation, old just, school. Yeah, if you start getting claymation films, I'm in. You're in? <laughs> yes. But uh, as far as, no, I'm not in books or movies. I might write a kid's book. Mm. Having nothing to do with SEALs. Well, right, but I'm I'm a pretty good illustrator and a decent storyteller. What about a seal a seal pup? Like Getting a beaten to death by pup, a, right? No, uh, come on, man. <laughs> like a little come on, man. <laughs> adventurous. Has there, there's not been a Disney well, he, movie about seal a seal pup. pup. The seal pup's a detective. <laughs> I've come up with this character before. <laughs> Stay uh, tuned. Yeah, seal pup's a detective who solves crimes using math. His name is Doctor Walter Fisk. He's a PhD in mathematics, not an MD. From where to get his education? I'd say Johnny Hopkins. <laughs> Johnny Hopkins. Yeah. That's him and Sloan Kettering. <laughs> that's like a satellite of John yeah. Hopkins. Yeah, it's it's on the east side of town. <laughs> I gotcha. Uh, so Dr. Walt, <laughs> for short, he solves crimes using math. Are we serious? He yeah. came up with this. The one caveat is uh, he can't see curves. <laughs> I think you told me this. It makes me really happy. <laughs> There you have it, folks. Can't see curves. There you go. Um, C.T. Geddes. Uh, what's the longest distance you'll have to run slash swim in B.U.S.S.? I think he probably meant to say buds. Yeah, that would have been my guess. Right. Um, longest run there is when I was in, I think it probably hasn't changed much at all. Just that book is old and it works as far as getting people through. We do a, there's a 14 mile run in second phase. I believe that is the longest. Uh, longest swim is a five mile swim. The second to last week in third phase, the open motion swim. It takes a long, long time. Five hours is a really long time. Yeah, it's five miles. It took, if, if you hit the current right, depending on when the heavy swim, it's gonna take somewhere around three hours. So at the, at the low end, like there's a, if you get it under three hours, you get your name on a plaque. Like a tech, there's a big surfboard there. On nice. The, this is San Clemente Island. So, was that it? Run, swim. Was that the other? Uh, yep. And then uh, both of our feelings on CrossFit, especially for the special operations. 
I don't think doing CrossFit's going to prepare you for special ops anymore. I mean, you should start doing some pretty unique stuff if that's really what you're going to go for. And I mean, those things, from what I understand, have testing. So train for that specifically, if that's what the goal is. But for general fitness, which what CrossFit is, I think it's fantastic. I think it puts hand barbells in more people's hands. I think CrossFit's been really powerful for the lifting community as a whole. And people that don't lift are now lifting and enjoying being part of a strength community. Yeah, to, for I, what I would say to add on to that would be, you know, I th I'm a big believer that there's no such thing really as a bad program. It's just how it's been delivered or how it's been executed. So CrossFit being high intensity interval training, uh, there is definitely some value in maybe doing it for a period of time. But I think for swimming, you know, the running aspect, the calisthenics, it, we're, they're just, we're just looking at strength, power, endurance, and, and varieties of those sort of things. So, you know, get strong, <clears throat> have great endurance, do some CrossFit high intensity type stuff, but it'd be the same thing. I guess the same question could be, you know, if, you, if it's just CrossFit, you're limiting yourself. Just like if all you're doing is strength training it would be, or just power lifting type movements, you'd be limiting yourself where you need to be doing all those sort of things. So it by itself, not so much, but in the same token, just doing power lifting by itself also would not be most optimal. Another quick question. Who'd win a sword fight, Jeff or Nick? No. That's a fucking toughie. You know, I'm no one really pick. wins in a sword fight, probably. That's true. One person dies, the other one goes to the hospital and then dies. Yeah, like knife fights, they're they're it's they're bad, exhausting. Dude. Yeah. Just shoot. Yeah, don't rule as I always have rules. Don't bring your fist to a knife fight or a gunfight. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Also true. Don't bring a mud truck to a NASCAR race. Also not good. That's another fact. Quote me on that. Alright, there's some questions. We answered them. Enjoy yourselves. Link down below to his channel. Just giving out some great information uh, for preparing for doing some SEAL training, preparing for military involvement at all, how to hit some milestones, how to hit physical fitness goals. And that's going to be down here somewhere. In this region. Yeah. Hit me up because I'm, I'm actually, I think just like Matt, I'm really quite good at answering the questions. So I will do my best to get you the answer, even if I don't have it. There I'll you go. It. So check our friends out and uh, spread hate always party. I'll get over there. <laughs> yes!